Hey guys, we're out here today after a couple of days of light, slow rain, snow in the high country. So it's a lot cooler than it has been and not heaps more water, but enough to keep things just a little tinged to the water. So it's not gin clear, but it's clear. Yeah, exactly. It's clear enough that we are going to see shapes and smudges moving um, wherever we have the chance. We do have a bit of sun today and we're in some heavier willows to start the day. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, some of that shade might be a little tougher, but we're going to find those fish. We're going to, we're just going to give it time. Yeah, it's, it's going to be real tough to start. We're early in the season here and the shadows are a little bit uh, longer and more intense when it's sunnier. Now to start the day right off the hop, what I'm using is just a big old sedge, kind of a stimulator pattern about size, I wanna say about an eight. And I'm actually two foot down to just a, a hare's ear nymph that's got an oversized tungsten bead as well as some light lead wrap in the body. And I, I tie it that way just to get my flies down deep in the pocket water in order to, that it gets in there. And because it's cooler, I thought, you know, I'm gonna get something in there that goes a little bit deeper. The fish will be active, don't get me wrong, but I think they're gonna stick a little bit lower. So I wanna make sure that my nymph gets down and I use a bigger dry fly, more as an indicator, but also with a hopeful, meh, you never know, I might come up and take it. But I want that dry fly to be able to float my nymph um, and indicate well. And what I mean by that is because it's an oversized tungsten with lead wrap on such a small nymph, it's gonna go down. Uh, so that pendulum effect is gonna go zip like that with the nymph and it's gonna need something corky to ride and float it. But as soon as the fish takes, it's gonna go bunk. And that's what I'm hoping for. Yeah, hey. And I got something slightly different here, guys. Um, basically, I've got about a 12 and a half, maybe 13 foot liter 3X. I'm just going straight 3X to the dry and to the dropper because again, um, slightly off color water uh, and tight spots for fighting fish and lots of obstacles. So, you know, the stronger the tip, the better for that scenario. Um, basically, not too much different than Dave. I got a sedge pattern, maybe one size smaller. Definitely. Um, and because actually I'm only about 18 inches down to just a very straight ahead uh, uh, PTN, yeah, pheasant tail nymph. And that one's about a size 16. So right now my setup is for fish that are holding a little shallower. But you know, again, it's a scenario where whoever's up first or whoever's <laughs> on the fishing, we're gonna adjust based on what we see. Okay, ready? ready? One, two, two three. three. Mm. You bugger, right. you're up first, that sucks. <laughs> Good, you can take no this one. Yeah, best of, yeah, yeah, oh, best of five. <laughs> hey guys, before we get into this new feature video, there's something important we want to share with you about our channel. And it is that as artists and content creators in a micro niche, YouTube simply doesn't pay the income required to produce the how-to videos that we share with you. Yeah, the reality is we're just not a pop culture channel and our videos simply don't get high views. Most of our videos take one to two days to film on the water and two days to edit. They focus on how to in order to help you improve your fly fishing skills. We know you already know how to fly fish. Our channel is here to help coach you to advance skills through simple steps and excellent knowledge and observation in knowing what to do when. Our channel is here to help you, but we need your support. For a few bucks a month, you can support what we do and receive the extended ad-free versions of our videos. You also get our producer's notes, which provide behind the scenes considerations to help you. If you want to really tap into our trout stream fly fishing experience and knowledge that's applicable anywhere on the planet, our full digital membership has a full series of courses immediately accessible. Please click this link to support us and become a member right now or visit jansenflyfishing.com. So this is extremely shingly through this stuff and I wouldn't put a fish here. Um, maybe at the well of this willow up here, the left side of it is gonna have a bit more depth, um, but I can see quite well through all of this. Whoopsie. <laughs> yeah, yeah and as it warms up and the water levels recede though, they're gonna be back yeah, there. Yeah, they might be in that stuff. So it's um, kind of that in-between stuff now. It is. The well above has some promise because again, there's a bit of depth and they've got the bank as well as structure. 
Um, soft, soft. But you water. gotta, you gotta see it right now. I would see kind of a smudge that shows up in there if it was gonna be there, and I don't. Oh man. So I'm the definitely looking. Yeah. 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 And that's the best looking water. Not likely here. This looks to be quite a push coming out from below this willow. See, a little cloud actually would be brilliant right now. Oh, <laughs> wouldn't it? So would. Because these are such high contrast situations. The thing is, it could be, it, it, it would be there, it has to be feeding. So what I'm trying to say is it would, you would see a dart out every now and then. Yes. I think in any of this water, because it's, it's unlikely it's going to be right, right offshore, guys. There's just, there's, there's not enough sort of good structure nor depth for a fish to hold there. Do you agree with that? Yeah, definitely. And I'm, I'm just trying to go really slow because I just get a hunch I'm going to be missing something because we can't forget it's cold water this morning. Mm -hmm. So they may not be active as I think, you know what I mean? Right, swaying as much as you want them to be. Yeah, and I wonder, because it was just a long weekend, um, I wonder with all those footprints around if this got really worked over the long weekend. Possibly. There's definitely a possibility of that. Now I'm starting to look up on that next edge. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. I can't, I can't not look in this riffle at these rocks though. So have you seen anything yet? Part of me wants to not see something. <laughs> yeah. Because this is miserable <laughs> stuff. Like crazy miserable <laughs> I'll, stuff. I'll say. Like you hook up here and you're screwed. That might be the, the longest log, extended log, multiple all logs. Yeah, all the way through. Plastic roots. Oh um, yeah. Yeah, there's, there's one on the, on the under the scene on that far. Oh, did you just see it sway? No, I saw it just kind uh, of come up and over and back in. It's just okay. far side there. But yeah, fighting in here. Good Lord. Yep. 3X or nothing and just crank. I think is the only chance. Okay, I'm going to get a little closer to you to get a better look at it. Just still... I don't want to find you a fish Oh here. yeah, I see him up there. That's that smudge. Right there. Right there, yeah. The he swung one. way left. Yeah. Don't. And he's there. home. He yeah. He showed real big. Yeah, he did. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, as far as my position goes, what do you think? Well, we could take your rod tip. Yeah. See, you know the current's going this way, so there's no real risk this is the eddy down here below him there's no risk of mud or anything getting to him yeah but you're gonna cross the sun no matter what um so you and but at the same time you gotta get a drift and you gotta get your rod across this current yep high not so high stick to expose yourself but enough height that there's no leader or fly line or anything on the water but at the same time get it above him and and just drift in to feed it and without spooking it because he just dropped down <laughs> a three feet as well so it's yes, a real tight window it is i would keep yourself kind of thigh deep right on this shelf mm -hmm. pray there's nobody sitting here yes so that i don't spook <laughs> it up <laughs> into him right? right and then go am i deep enough am i beefed up enough mm. I, I don't know i would go with as big a hook as you think that's, you can get away with yeah so that's what i'm thinking right now i fight this is too small i gotta get a wide gap hook going on Okay, time to get into position. I don't think you can go too wrong. <laughs> he's definitely feeding a lot to the right as well, so not okay. soft, but they're gonna go deeper left or shallower right, so. Yeah, hey, swaying pretty good. Yeah, well, this should be fun. Yep. Get the hook up first. Oof. Don't want him to see me. Stay low here. Okay, here we go. Nope. Here we go, Dave. Got him. Oh, 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 that's gonna be done. Oh, there's another fish that came right out from this log. No, that's that's probably over. I won't I won't give up yet, but Oh, he's way over there. Oh yeah. Oh wow, look at that thing. I don't want to break my rod either. There was another bigger fish that came right out from this log. Oh, I might have a chance. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, 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 okay. You saw him. You saw him. Yeah, you saw him. There we go. Good, good, good. No, 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 no. You have a chance. Yeah, I do. I do. Pick up the net Hold him go. there. Yeah. Him no, I have. Okay. Down, yeah, I have a chance. Ah. No, I gotta keep him. And. There you go. You're yep, 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 yep. Yeah. And in the net. Oh, ha <laughs> Yeah, man. Well, okay. I played that all right. <laughs> Sweet. Holy man. I <laughs> put that rod to the test on that one. That was awesome. Wow. Man. Now, I cranked hard and I, I knew I'd have to. I mean, you know, you see you see this long log in the water going all the way up to where he was. And of course you got this fast current coming in. Well, yeah, I mean, all I could do was just simply crank on that rod, but have it folded over. You saw my rod tip was just right in the water um, and just hang on and keep that pressure. And that's really all I could do. Now I got lucky enough that as Dave said, I was able to walk up this, you know, faster riffle and kind of pull them out and then pull them down and then get on them as fast as I could. Um, yeah, there's some, there's some luck involved in that, but obviously it really helped when Dave said, no, I think you can pull him upstream. I, I see him, he's out from underneath that log. So yeah, really sweet fish. You know, the ones that, you know, you walk into and you go, yeah, fat chance I'm gonna land that fish. But you take it on and you go for it and that happens. This is one of the classic frustrating things. That's just, you may as well just put your silverware on the table and try to see a fish through it, you know? The only chance is to get one side or the other and commit to it and try to get your angle to try to see into the water from over here using that backdrop up there. But I'm gonna take it another step and just get up here so I have height to look into that water and just kind of come up, look at the rocks. Only place they're gonna be is on a rock. So you're good there and walk it around every hole see now there's a hole he can see you as much as you can see him nothing and yeah i nosed in you'd think nobody in that first window i'm just looking off that rock green shapey smudge no so i don't want to be too close and too high at the same time so I'm just dropping off the bank. There's a smudge just this side of that rock up there, but it's not moving. Oh, what's that? That's a fish right there. Right on the edge of the current there. Yeah, he did. So, oh, he just came way to the right. Okay, where are you, fish? I still don't see him. And this is where that uh, heavy deep quick dropper comes in. So I've gone with a single heavier tungsten bead nymph. Okay, here we go. Nice line. No, it's gonna get sucked way over again. Look at that. I got him though. He came over. He screamed over. Nope, fold, fold. You're just trying to offset that thing from going under heavy cover, like this. So if he comes back, no, nope, pull him back, no, nope, pull him back. You do not want this fish <laughs> going under crazy heavy cover. That's the only thing you don't want. I'll get the net up. No, nope. come on now. And a little bit of crystal flash, or should I say, um, Crelex draws the attention sometimes and comes right over but these fish are definitely deeper today they're not coming high in the water column or feeding on the surface as yet after that cold snap and he don't want to come shallow so we're gonna and i don't really want to walk him down too far because then he's going to get under that now i'm in trouble now i'm in trouble yep i'm screwed i'm in there but good now that is what I did not want to see happen. And there it is. That's why. 
Oh, oh, geez, he no, came. No, you got him, Dave. He's still on. Are yeah, you, you got kidding him. me? He. <laughs> okay. Wow. I didn't see that coming. I thought he was off. No, I just popped off that branch underneath there. Come on, Dave. Alligator rolling in the net. Wow, I got lucky. Oh, <laughs> I take luck every yeah, time. You had almost given up on that. No, completely. I gave up. I thought, oh, no, he's off. Yeah. Bugger. Down up go. Wicked. Thanks, buddy, for staying on. <laughs> lucky. You're absolutely lucky. Yeah, those are the... Those are the fights, guys, that you just don't want that fish to go under there. You know, going down is probably the best thing, but I had to fold folds, and depending on which way that fish was gonna go while I was fighting it, you know, if it's gonna keep going down, you gotta fold your rod that way and try to drag him out. But if he's gonna go back up that way, then you have to fold your rod that way and try to pull him out back that way. And I had a really good line on that fish until it went right over that rock, just over my finger there, and then, my I think my dry fly actually hung up on that stick over there and, and I just felt nothing I was like oh but what the nothing was was just my fly popping off the branch and the fish drifting downstream and then it realized it was still hooked I realized it was still hooked and it was like oh no I still got a fish so better land that fish Dave the hunt for that one happy swaying fish in the water we like Boy, you'd think it has to be here, wouldn't you? Like, has to be in this water. Now there's one right there on that edge there, another small sea runner, yet another small sea runner. That's crazy. Well, that's a really nice trough for him to be in swaying, hey? Oh yeah. Yeah, just, okay. So I'm gonna get down below him. Either a pitch and, and catch or a pitch and we go. Yeah, we'll see, hey? Yeah. Okay. Is he somewhat staging, hey? Yeah, he's definitely swaying pretty hard in there. Definitely looks like a sea runner though. Different lighting from here, of course. Yeah. Oh yeah. Quite a bit different. Have a look. He's just off the right of that white rock. Over yeah. Oh yeah, okay. Here we go. I'm gonna go. Oh, he dropped out. I'm gonna go now. I'm out on that line. Yep, got him. Beauty. Ha <laughs> ha, jumper. And three, and you got another one in you? No. Okay, I'm just gonna get down now. Yeah, he's not big. He's definitely a sea runner, silvery, silvery fish. Nice. That was awesome that, you know, as he swung out, that was the time to hit him up. Cause he's definitely kind of had swung down. I could see him real well and yeah, that worked out well. Would you believe there's a fish along the shoreline just upstream? Isn't that amazing? And this fish is right back. And he's just dropped right beside me. They're dropping. Here's the second one coming right beside us. And now he's spooked. Please go downstream. Are you kidding me? Yes, they're dropping. He's right here, Dave, and he just, he just nipped. These are sea runners if there ever were sea runners. So I was changing my fly so I could set up on the fish upstream of us. And this one came a dropping. Oh, he's screaming upstream. Yeah. Of course you are. Now, now he's up there. Okay, so these are all little sea runners, eh? There he goes. Okay, so back to my fly change routine. 16 foot leader to 4X, size 16, Mayfly Merger 10, down to a little size 18 2X Mayfly Nymph. Just a very subtle thing, because, well, yeah, <laughs> this fish is in crazy, shallow, sensitive little water. Really funky spot. Yeah. 
I mean, it's, it's no gimme fish. I got to go left of them for sure. Yeah. It's just up just to the left of that uh, willow above us here. And it's the kind of fish that could spook at a nanosecond. Sheepers. Talk about having a sidearm chop your cast in there. Hope for the best. Okay. That'll do it. Really? You gotta be kidding me. Okay, going again. He's nymphing and popping on the dry fly. Really? How about that? He looked at that nymph. Really? How much fishing pressure do you go through on the weekend? Right. Isn't that amazing? One more. That should do it. Oh, what a move. Here we go. That'll be right on him. Yes. That was right into his mouth that time. Oh, you little dog, you. Isn't that amazing? That's amazing. Missed him. Where'd he go? I thought I had him. Came right beside me. Like he fell off. Oh my god. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. That's amazing. So that was a fish that was just at the end of, well, the water's been warm. Just, we're in spring and the water's still up, but it's warmed up a bit. And that's just a kind of a starting to turn off kind of a fish, but it was still feeding an active. And, it's kind of one of those fish that's like, oh, look at that, it's really cool. But at the same time, you know, he's kind of like, mm, a little bit off at the same time. I had him, but the way he turned over, really weak fish and just kind of a, not a, not a prime fish, but just kind of a turn me over, fold me over, you hooked me. And as soon as he hooked, well, over he came, right? And it's when you come over the top with your mouth open, well, that's when that hook comes popping out. So not really, prime take it on fish and a bit warmer and just kind of pushed and you set that hook and just right at you and pop goes the fly so hey what are you gonna do this yeah. guy is just uh, actually i think it's a gal yeah just a, that white rock over there and just a foot this side and a foot down oh look at that yeah. all the way over just big swing here. to this side mayflies are starting to hatch so I, it's just probably it's you know if you sat there and just pitched it out to the edge of the current up upstream and just let it drift in. I Should think, get this fish. Yeah, yeah. It, it's gonna. I think eat. it just flashed again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah right yeah. down okay. here. It's it's basically got about an eight foot lateral. Okay. And maybe one or two feet up and down. It's really just surfing that break. Nice. Yeah. All right. Cool. Here we go. Ready? Yep. Work it.
One more, just over. I don't see any movement. Yeah. Should be the line, right? Yep. Yep. Nice, Dave. Yeah, good call. Nice. Okay. It's okay. I got to get control here anyway. I think it's a smaller sea runner anyhow. Well, maybe not that small. No. no. Watch the branch What branch? Down. Oh, Sorry. okay. I see it. I see it. I got to go down with this fish. <laughs> no. Oh, now it's in there. No, no, no. You're welcome. This is crazy. Okay. Okay. Come on. In the net. In the net. Unreal. That was silly. Hey. That's way bigger than <laughs> I thought. Silliness. Yeah, it's, it's actually really. chunky. Yeah. Chunky, but not really fighting like a chunky fish. No, they're just off today. Yeah, they just really are, to be honest. Yeah, well, that was fun, though. Down, Down for a drink. Yep. You ready? Yep. Okay. And there we go. <laughs> nice. Okay. That was fun. Really neat spot, guys. Uh, you get super close to that fish. Um, Again, hands and knees, but he wasn't aware of me because of, again, the sort of pitch, uh, again, the gradient of this water and where I was in relation to him and how fast it was going. I'm convinced that's why I could get so close. And again, this fish was just moving back, forth, back, forth. Um, timing, interception, finally got him. Fun fight. I'm surprised he didn't get completely hooked in that floating willow, but he didn't, and I got him. I don't know if I'd see in here anyway, to be honest with you. Oh, there she is. Yeah. Yeah, that's what they do. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> that's, you got to have a sense of humor about those things. Otherwise, you're just crushed every time you're out here. It's just the worst lighting possible, too. But, hey, there could be somebody here. You never know. Never say never. It only takes one. You're on them. Yes, I'm on them. There we go. Nice. nice. Take them down, hopefully. Yeah, come on. Oh, oh, jeez. Be a little smarter than that, Dave. Come on, horse him this way, horse him that. No, he's off, I'm trying to horse him. And I got that one. Wow. Really, are you kidding me? Really? Seriously? <laughs> wow! Come on! Oh, jeez! That was bizarre! <laughs> okay, here we go. Yeah, beautiful, anytime. Wicked. Cheapers, creepers. Uh, a river full of small little sea runners that are just got everything off. Like everything's just bizarro world right now. <laughs> yeah. Yep. That's the one you wanted. No. That's not that little sea runner. It's the one you got. Yeah. <laughs> These little guys are hot little potatoes. <laughs> Jeepers, creepers, man. Wow, you just gonna flip them? Yeah, hot little buggers. Okay, let's see if I can get that even in there. There, that's a good spot. Well short of the corner where I need to be, but it's a good start. Not quite. Where is it now? Oh, geez. Yep. That's a good fish. Way better fish than I thought it was. Way better fish than I thought that was. 
Jeepers. Good luck, Chuck. Jeepers. How am I gonna get this guy? Low onto the side. It's the only chance. Come on. Keep that rod low. Come on. No. No. Okay, well, that's better than what I was just staring at a minute ago. Come on. Come on, fish. Low. Not underneath that. Jeepers. Come on. Head up, bugger. Head up. Head up. Oh, jeez. I'm in the sticks above me. Come on. Head up. Hey, we're going this way. Now, uh, this way, this way, this way. Come on, Dave. Come on, yes. Woo! All right, Dave. <laughs> oh, I'm happy for you, love. Oh, that's lucky. That love. You ready? Sure am, anytime. Here we go, love. Gorgeous. Wicked. Oh, 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 oh. that went my way. <laughs> Finally, that's something like this. Yeah. It's been a bizarre day. And to top off a bizarre day, that little button hook, I just saw a head cross over a little um, sandy spot. I was like, hmm, okay, well, probably not that little sea runner. Well, second, third cast in there and pop and fold. And I just see this big gold flash. And I was like, there's no way I'm getting that fish out of that pocket. But that's the one I get out. So <laughs> you take it and you run after it and you put the boots to the to the ground and you just dig and dig and dig and yeah, finally pulled that one out. That's awesome. Super stoked for you on that. Oh. I've just got it now. And now I don't. So he's here somewhere. Thought I just saw him again. No, further over. No sooner do I say I don't like the little sea runners than Amelia puts me in touch with my inner sea runner chaser. Here we go. Really? Instead, he wants to eat on the surface right there. Nice. Bigger than I gave him credit for, I'll tell you that much. He's a lot bigger and hotter than I gave him credit for. Yeah. I thought he was just a little one pound sea runner. Crazy. That's a heavy fish. Because that weed on my line Yep. And how hot that fish is. I just don't get the sense he's done. Yeah. Is he going to stay here? These are really weird fish today. You know? I just don't get this. Jeez. In the net. Jeez. Jeez. That was amazing. It was. Just amazing fish. Yeah? Yep, you bet. Okay, here we go, love bug. Okay. That was hot. Oof, yeah. <laughs> wow yeah. um it's kind of funny because back when we owned fortress lake retreat i should actually shoot this way so you can see my face um i used to love going out late 10 o'clock 10 30 at night right until dark um because the fish would come up and just hover just subsurface and very few people could actually see under the twilight light the little black smudgy bars just subsurface. That's all I'm looking for. Um, I'm just looking for little, little dark, dark, dark smudges just subsurface. And, you know, they, I'm talking about up at the lake. And it was the exact same kind of light here. Yeah, it rose, it rose. But I was now looking just for that hovering dark smudge of color just subsurface. Even though it isn't just subsurface, that's what it appears to be. And that's what I was feeding. It was like, yeah, okay, he's gonna come over and feed. Uh, when I went at him in the bigger water, no. But I, as I led him along the drop-off shelf on this side, just on that drop-off, you could just—I just saw that shape come over. White mouth, open, close, done, set, and away we go. What a gorgeous fish! Um, yeah, really nice fighter. Misjudged its size by a pound or two, but awesome.
and just picked him up in the tail out. Gonna get a cast here. Right over to the further. Further? Next cast further over, yeah. Okay. Right over next cast. Yeah. Okay. He's right there. Okay. Yeah. Okay. No cast. Come over him right there. Yep. Yep. Nice, Dave. Thank you. How I saw wow. that. Wow. How you saw that, I don't know. In this light, I don't know. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, I want to switch my rod. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I keep it out of there? Play it out loud. Yeah. You're, you're good. Yeah, okay. You ready? No, I'm not. Because he's going down. Kind of screwed, I think, now. We'll see. Oh, there he is. Yeah, okay. That's not easy. So you're going to go around that rock and downstream. All right. Still going. If I can keep it in here. Keep it in here. Swing it back to you. Swing it back and in the net. Yes. Long fish. Really long fish. Beauty. That was awesome. Thank you for that pickup, Dave. Here we go. That's a great way to end a day. <laughs> Saw that one for you though. Oh, you sure did. Boy, <laughs> did you ever pick up on that fish, hey? Yeah, just like I was like, saying on my last fish, it was just a matter of just seeing that dark shape. And so often it looks like it's just subsurface, but it's nowhere near subsurface. And that's what I was looking at in the tail out for you. I could actually see the fish the whole time. And I'm just looking at um, anything that's not part of the sand. Like it, that mm -hmm. whole flat in the tail, it was just nothing but sand. Anything that wasn't sand had to be a fish and I could see it there. And yeah, it just, dimensionally, it doesn't look very far from the surface. These things never look far from the surface, even though they're deep. Yeah. It's just a bizarre kind of optical thing, hey? Right, yeah, exactly. Cause I know, I know that I, I really couldn't, couldn't see the fish, but I, I knew the line of where Dave wanted me to be and how kind of how far over to that bank. And uh, yeah. Got the, got the right cast into that line and let it drift and then saw that dry go under and set. And, and that was a fun ride. <laughs> Brought me all the way down that, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Low light evening fish. And yeah, I'm, I'm pretty thrilled to have ended our day that way.